Now that accident happened on the 75th anniversary of one of the most significant military operations in the history of the world. Today, people around the world gathered to recognize Operation Overlord, better known as D-Day. They came wave after wave, without question, without hesitation, and without complaint. More powerful than the strength of American arms was the strength of American hearts. 75 years ago today, 160,000 Allied troops, including 73,000 Americans, landed on the French beaches of Normandy to launch a takeback of Western Europe from Hitler's Nazi Germany. The men behind me will tell you that they are just the lucky ones. All the heroes right here. Thousands gather today at the Normandy American Cemetery, which overlooks Omaha Beach. A handful of surviving D-Day veterans made the journey. Their families settled in the front rows, while other guests clustered amid the rows of white crosses. Overhead, planes flew with trailing red, white, and blue colors. We know what we owe to you veterans, our freedom. On behalf of my nation, I just want to say thank you. More than seven decades later, the number of D-Day and World War II veterans is dwindling, making each commemoration more poignant and an important reminder to the generations that follow. You are the pride of our nation. You are the glory of our republic. And we thank you from the bottom of our hearts.